Welcome to the third segment of our cybersecurity course, where we explore the various types of phishing attacks that individuals and organizations may encounter. Let's delve into some of the most common types. We have spear phishing, vishing, voice phishing, clone phishing. Let's start with spear phishing. Unlike traditional phishing campaigns that cast a wide net, spear phishing targets specific individuals or organizations. Attackers conduct thorough research to customize their messages, making them appear highly credible and relevant to the recipient. For example, a cyber criminal might impersonate a company's CEO, falsifying even the email address to make it look legitimate, and send an email to the finance department requesting urgent wire transfers. Due to the personalized nature of spear phishing, victims are more likely to fall for these targeted attacks. Next, we have vishing, also known as voice phishing. This technique involves attackers using phone calls to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information or performing certain actions. Imagine receiving a call from someone claiming to be a bank representative, asking for your account details to verify your identity. Despite sounding legitimate, these calls are often part of vishing scams aimed at stealing your financial information. Here, we could see the misuse that some actors can give to artificial intelligence with the ability to clone voices and impersonate trusted people of the victims with the purpose of stealing information. Now let's delve into clone phishing. This technique occurs when attackers create replicas or clones of legitimate emails that have already been delivered. They then modify the content to include malicious links or attachments, tricking recipients into thinking it's a legitimate follow-up message. For instance, suppose you receive an email containing an invoice from a trusted supplier. After a few days, you receive a follow-up email that appears to be from the same supplier, referencing the previous invoice. However, this follow-up email is a clone and it contains a link that leads to a fake payment confirmation page designed to steal your login credentials or install malware on your device. Attackers gain access to the original email by various means, such as email interception. They may intercept email communications between the sender and recipient, allowing them to analyze the structure and content of legitimate emails. Compromised accounts. If an email account is compromised, e.g., through password theft or social engineering, attackers can access past emails and use them as templates for clone phishing. Data breaches. In some cases, data breaches provide attackers with access to email archives, enabling them to clone emails and launch sophisticated phishing attacks. By understanding these common types of phishing attacks, including clone phishing and how attackers gain access to legitimate emails, you can better identify suspicious activities and protect yourself and your organization. In the next segment, we'll discuss strategies and best practices for recognizing and preventing phishing attacks effectively.